This session is on how to request pricing from your vendor and then import these prices directly into your master database. In this example, I just created a little job called master pricing job and I went through and I took off one of everything of my conduit. It took me about five minutes to create this job. I then go into my summary and now the summary brings up all of these in the sizes that I have. I need to get this sheet to my supplier. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the printer icon to drop down and I am going to choose the report cost request export. It comes on my screen. Once it comes on my screen, I will then send the file out in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to hit the drop down and I need to send it as Microsoft Excel data only Microsoft Excel data only It comes into a format. I am going to clean this up just a little bit so that when my vendor gets it, they can clearly see the information that I need. All I'm doing now is double clicking on each one of these columns so that it will automatically format them to the right size. Or you can certainly just drag over if you prefer to do it like that. Either way uh, will work. I just want a nice clean report so that my supplier can see exactly what I'm saying. Since I want to be able to get the price in this new price column, I am going to highlight column E. And this is just something I do. I'm going to make that column red. You don't have to. That way they know where it needs to go. And I'm also going to put a note in here. For the note, just so there's no confusion, I'm going to say um, put all pricing in column E. And the name of, of column E is called new price. Just so there's no chance of them putting it in the wrong place or if there's a new person who's not sure what to do with this. And I'm just going to make that red as well. Again, these two things you don't have to do. It just helps you to clean up your sheet. In this case, these empty lines, I'm going to go ahead and remove those out. I'm going to delete those lines out. So now I have a sheet that I can use over and over and over again. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do a file, uh, save as. I'm going to make sure I save it as an Excel file. And the name of my sheet is going to be supplier pricing file. The reason I name it that because I can send it out to any of my vendors that I choose to. The name is very generic, supplier pricing file. I'm then going to save this somewhere on my PC that I can easily locate it. Uh, when I do need to send it out. So I have a folder down here called pricing folder and I think I'm just going to drop it in that folder. So I'm going to save it in that folder. So now I'm going to close this down and I'm going to close this down. Now I've emailed this over to a couple of different vendors. In this case, I'm going to get, I want to get these prices from Walters and I want to put it into my master uh, database. So what I'm going to do now is go to maintenance items. If you get a message, simply click OK. Now I want to make sure I have the correct vendor selected. And now I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen and there's a button called vendor. I'm going to click that and I'm going to highlight again the vendor in which I want to bring the file into. The first thing before I can bring the prices in, um, I need to map this. So before I map it, let's just open up the sheet that Walters has sent to us. So we emailed it to Walters, Walters sent it back. Now I intentionally just put the same value in there so I can easily go back in real quick and look at the half inch and three quarter and the one inch and see the price there. So that's what Walters has sent back to me. Now I want to bring that sheet in. So again, I'm going to highlight Walters here and I need to map it. Vendor file mapping. I'm going to create a new mapping. I have to go find my sheet. Again, we know where we've uh, placed our sheet. It's an XLS file. And there's the one for April. All right, so I'm going to click open on that. And now I need to map it. Basically, I need to find the first line here that looks like it's usable uh, information. So probably this one here, the fourth one down, because in here it looks like a size or like a description. It looks like a unit of measure or price and UPC and so forth. So I check one of these boxes and I circle one of these boxes and click OK. 
Now for my mapping name, I'm just going to call this Walters because I want to uh, be able to use this every month or every time they send it and I don't have to remap it. So Walters is my mapping name. I'm going to drop down. What in here looks like a price, that $2.50. What in here looks like a UPC code. What in here looks like a catalog. And sometimes you may not have every field to fill in, but in this case we do. What in here looks like an item description, GRC. And then what in here looks like a unit of measure, probably per foot. So I put in whatever I can. I'm then going to click OK. Once I click OK, I see my sheet in there and I'm simply going to close. Now I'm ready to import the values in. So let's take a quick note on what our GRC half inch, three quarter inch, one inch is priced at $2.11, $2.03, and $3. If the import is successful, it should change those to $2.50. So let's see how it works. We've highlighted Walters. We've already mapped it. So this time we want to import from a vendor import file. So when I click from in vendor import file, I'm going to say import to vendor selected in the grid. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It wants me to choose my mapping. Now it wants me to go and find my sheet again. We know where that sheet is located, wherever we located our sheet. There's the sheet that Walter sent over me. It says it's okay to begin the import. Again, let's look at what our prices are now. We're gonna click okay. It says it's complete and we're going to close. And now you can easily see that it bought in those prices of $2.50 for each of those size pipe. You're also going to notice that the price edit date is today's date. So you can always look to see that it is updating those prices on a given date. Now, if Walter sends me over a new sheet on next month, I just simply save the new sheet that they would send to me in the designated folder. And then I would just come down again and click on vendor. Um, highlight Walters here and I would say import. I don't have to map it. I would just say import from vendor import file and then I would go out to find that particular file wherever it may be. Okay. So um, play around with that and I think you'll find it very simple to get your entire database updated fairly quickly.